Exactly. And you were, you were loose, man. I mean, you, you set career highs, OPS, all this, I mean, all the numbers, you were so impressive home runs hit for some pop. You had some great games, August, you got really hot. Is that like you, you know, when you talk about some of those guys get off to slow starts or whatever, you got, you completely had your rhythm in August. As a matter of fact, you were disappointed the season even ended because you were on such a roll throughout your career. Has it been like that? You get, you get hot kind of late in the year. Um, I think last year was unique for me. Uh, I normally have a month or so where uh, I hit a little bit of a lull and I got to give a lot of credit to the, the hitting coaches on at both the big league level and tiny. Um, they love to work. And the, the first day I got into spring training, they, they helped me with some stuff, helped me to get better, helped me with stuff that I've never heard of. And, you know, I think it definitely, definitely helped me throughout the season. Um, yeah, they introduced me to the spin ball machine. The spin ball machine was awesome. It, I think it, it really helped me uh, limit my valleys and helped me extend my peaks. So um, it's been, it was, it was, it was an awesome year. And I got to give a lot of credit to the people that were around me. It's not, it's not me. Um, definitely the people around me, we had a good team. It, it helps having a good team around you as well. Uh, the players, uh, we had a lot of guys who really had good years last year. And, and, you know, it, it it's not an individual sport. It's a team sport. And, you know, they say hitting's contagious. And I, I definitely believe that. So uh, being around a great group of players that were talented and love to compete, it, it definitely helped me with my game too. You know, elaborate on that point a little bit. It felt like you never really went on that huge prolonged slump. You know, that that's the key in a season, right? Because you're always going to have your one for 10s, your two for 14s, but you never really went on like a long two for 26 or any any of that. And you, I know you credit the hitting coaches, but also I think just you've been around the game a long time. You understand hitting. Uh, can you talk about that? Elaborate on that to the folks about just the, the key and not going on any prolonged slumps in the season? So... I guess that that part goes back to 2019. I started off the year, I think it was like three for 39 and I ended up hitting 139 in the month of April. Yeah. And, and I mean, that's tough to get out of. And I ended up having a pretty good year after that. Um, I learned a lot about myself and I learned a lot, like it's not the end of the world going on these slumps and you're eventually going to get out of it. You feel like you're never going to get a hit again because nothing's going your way, but um, you can take a good swing and you can not get a hit and you can take a really, really bad swing and you can get a hit. So it's, it's like, it, as long as you don't focus on the outcome and you continue with the process it in the plan, then everything's going to work out. So um, I got to a, a point in spring training where I was really comfortable with where my swing was at and, uh, I just trusted it all year, and I, I think I definitely benefited from that. Thank you for listening to the Rivercats Nine Lives podcast, hosted by Johnny Dosco. Please like, subscribe, and share with all your baseball loving friends. And make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. 